Hi, this is a tutorial for creating a 3D part to use on Polyp game. And for that, we're going to use Blender. Let's get started. Select the camera and the light and remove them by hitting X, but we don't need them. And here we have a cube that we are going to turn into the brick wall. The very first thing we see here is that if we go here to item, the dimensions are 2 by 2 by 2. And we want this piece or part to work well with other parts in polyam. And most of these parts are one by one. So we go back to Blender and we make the dimensions one in the x axis and one in the z axis. And for the depth, we put one, it will be a cube, but we want it to be. Like maybe here. So let's try point one, which is tenth of a unit. I think that's good. So we apply the scale by hitting Control A and choosing scale. Now scale is once, but the dimensions stay the same. So first let's rename this cube to something unity like brick wall mesh. And let's add some anchors to connect the wall to the other pieces. And anchors are these things that enable us to connect the part to other parts. Like for example, if I want to connect this part, they connect through the anchors. Like this. So we go back to Blender and there are many ways to create like to position your anchor the way the less you want and uh, this is the easiest for flat surfaces basically we want the anchor to be in the center of this face so we select it or we choose shift s and release while the mouse is here cursor to select it so now this cursor this uh dashed circle is located in the center of this db face we go out of edit mode and we hit shift a and go down choose an empty all these are the same they behave the same but they are uh, they appear different but they behave the same they are like empty objects it's like a folder in your computer a folder is used to hold files a folder, an empty folder is meaningless, and these are exactly that. They are just empties to help us, like folders to contain stuff in future, uh, which would be other parts. I like to choose arrows here, and they are like too big. So we go here and do 0.25. This doesn't affect the behavior of the anchor, so if you want to like make it appear smaller but behave the same just change it to here don't change it on scale it will make it smaller but that will make other parts that come here also smaller so make sure that the scale of the anchors is always one uh, one other thing is we want to make the z axis of this empty go out of the face so this is the face and it's on the x z axis so it, the, the z of the empty needs to go on the y axis this way so the easiest way to do it is choose a rotation from here and rotate it such that the z goes out let me make that a perfect 90 degrees and that's it this part sorry this anchor is ready uh, we can duplicate this one and uh, like reposition it, but it would take more time. So let's do this really quick. Shift S and 0.25. And here we need to rotate it this way. So I will rotate it around the x axis. So R will rotate in x and this way. Now you notice that the degree is negative 90 that works personally i like 
I would like all my uh, degrees to be positive, so I would just put 270, and it will be the same. Uh, let's do for here. Oops, I, I choose the plane axis, which is, it's okay, we can change it from here. 125. This one doesn't need to be rotated because it's perfectly flat on the xy axis. Let's do the bottom. The bottom will be the opposite of that. So R, X, and 180. R, Y, because I wanted to move around the Y axis. And this is 470, and on the other side it will be 9. Okay, now our, our anchors are located where we want them, so let's rename all the anchors uh, to be anchor. Just name the anchor and then they will add the uh, numbers to make it the names unique. Now we have all the anchors that we need, and that's super cool. So let's group them into one group, one parent. And for that, let's make a, an empty. This one, let's make it different. And let's create it in the center of the world. So we need to move the cursor to be in the center. In the position zero zero zero. Right now it's point zero zero zero. So if we just put zero here, it will move back to the. Or if we put shift S and cursor toward origin, it will do the same. So shift A, create like a plane axis. It will be different than the others, and don't name it anchor. Name it for something like a brick wall. And select everything like this, and make sure that the parent that we want to hold everything else is yellow. So if you click here by mistake, or you click shift this one, or shift this one, make sure you go back to the parent while holding shift and make it yellow. So this means that this is the active object. The active object will hold all the other orange objects. Click Control P for parent, and we want to set the parent to object. Now we have one parent that we can move around that has all the objects. Now let's check to see if everything is all right. For anchors, these values could be anything we want them to be, but the scale should be one, always one. So we check them really quickly. Everything is fine. For the mesh, however, everything should be zero, like this. Location, rotation, and scale should be zero. If you see anything that you don't like, just control A and hit all transforms and that will apply whatever transformation and you've made. Now uh, let's create a texture for the brick wall using Photoshop. You can find a lot of textures online, but we are going to make one from scratch. We made our texture, now let's apply it to this wall. 
So the first step in that is going here to UV editing. If you can't find it, just click plus general UV editing. So you go here and we hit tab to go into edit mode, select all, and you can see that it's already unwrapped, and that's really cool. It's that the only problem is that this face is way smaller than this face, but they are all taking the same dimensions because they were originally a cube. So let's unwrap them again while here, click U and unwrap. So here's this one worked better and it made these uh, sides uh, smaller than these uh, main uh, fronts of the brick wall. So once we have that, let's apply a material for this wall and we can add a, the texture that we just made. So we look here on the base color, we go here first, material, and in the base color we click here and we choose an image texture. And we click open and we go to the texture file we just exported and we open open the image. We can't see it because we're in solid view, so click Z and go to material preview, and here we can find our uh, our texture. Uh, it's it's bigger than expected, so let's fix the UV. It should be taking all everything from here to here. So let's unwrap again. New projection. And that fixed it. And now everything is seamless and this is uh, a nice brick wall. Now the reason we made the texture in black and white is that we can apply a color for it later in the game. So let's do that. Uh, let's export our uh, brick wall. And the way we do that is we go to File, Export, GLB slash GLTF. Change the format from GLTF binary to embedded. And let's export GLTF. Now, if we go to the folder, we will find the GLTF file right here. Now, the size is 18 kilobytes. It's, it's a really good size. It's not very big. Uh, and it will be usable in the game. So we go here to 3GS.org and go to editor. And we use this editor to prepare everything uh, for the game. So let's just drag drop the file here. And we can see that now it's black. It's black because there is no light in the in the PV scene. So let's add lights. I like to add one ambient light and one directional light. So one ambient light and one directional light. So now we have the brick wall, we select the geometry, and the very first thing that I notice here is this mesh will not be colorable in the game, and the reason for that is I did not include the term colorable in the name. So we can fix that here, we don't need to go back to Blender. Just make sure that you are selecting the mesh, and here in the name, just say colorable and whatever you want after that. You don't even need that. You can just name it colorable and it will work just fine. Uh, it didn't update here. It's, it's set here, so we need to like brand it again. Now the name is right there. We check the anchors. Names, they are fine. Uh, that's before checking the anchors, transform the material uh, to something that is used in poly. So we go into the material tab. This is using the mesh standard material shader. 
we don't want that shader we want the mesh tool material shader so we choose tool and immediately that makes our material white we can fix that go to the map entry here and check the checkbox if you didn't see your material here that is so the texture part here that's okay we can click here and import it again now if we change the color like this brown color the brick wall will be brown if you want it to be blue we can make it blue and etc so i think this is a good color for a brick wall now the final step is testing the anchors and it's really an important step just create a cylinder this is a temporary object that we can remove later go to geometry and make the radius stop zero to make it pointy and maybe the bottom 0.25 like quarter of that now it looks like a cone make sure that this cone is in zero 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 and rotation is zero and scale is one now drag it and drop it in the anchor first anchor and this is the anchor if we take a look here we can see that this is the anchor that is on this side if i look here like it's not here it's here and the cone is pointing out of the surface so this is a positive result so we can go to the next anchor which is at the top and as we can see it's pointing at the top this is the bottom one same for this one this is the other one on the on this side so it's it's good it's it's not good if it's like this for example if it's negative 90 the anchor is in this in this side but it's going inside that's a problem we want it to go outside so let's fix that and make it 90 again uh, for example if this was like 180 this is a problem we can fix that from here it's important that you are changing the anchor and not the cylinder inside the cylinder should be all zeros here so fix it using the anchor rotation now we have checked all the anchors let's remove the cylinder that we added and now this part is ready we don't want this extra group so just take the group of the part and move it out here and remove this empty group one last step is to file export scene and it will give you a json file now if you this is everything that you have worked on so if you click new just drag it and now you have your part that's it i hope you learned something today and if you have any questions feel free to ask on discord see you next time